<laughs> what sort of PSI are we at? It's on this side. The car works by using a chemical reaction to build pressure, which we then use to go a certain distance carrying a specified weight that we don't know until the day of the competition. This was the first testing session of the new year. At the end of last year, we qualified for the national competition in Minneapolis. And so this was making sure that the car still ran after the summer, making sure that it was still as consistent, and making sure that the new chemicals that we ordered would give us the same results. The reaction that we're using requires really high concentrations of reactants. This is potassium permanganate and it's the limiting reactant in our chemical reaction. So we're measuring out two packages to put inside of the reaction vessel and that's gonna mix with the oxalic acid and create carbon dioxide gas that'll power our car. They have a rotating magnet and a magnetic stir bar inside the reaction vessel. When the magnet turns, the magnet inside the reaction vessel also turns to stir up the chemicals. So the reaction starts going built up pressure. I started when I was a freshman where that was the first time we'd ever competed with a car and since then every year the team has grown, the car has done exponentially better and it is just exhilarating to be a senior and being able to compete at the national competition.